The world may be at a standstill, but that's not enough to keep Scooter Braun away from his devious ways, and Taylor Swift isn't having it. What's up, y'all? Samil so Innis Jr. here to dish up all this ongoing drama revolving around Taylor, Scooter Braun, and Big Machine Records. Yeah, it still isn't over. While you mentally prepare yourself for this insane news, hit that subscribe button so you never miss any updates. We should have guessed something was stirring up with how relatively quiet Scooter and his record label Big Machine Records have been, and now Taylor Swift is speaking out about their big release. Scooter, who manages some other big names like Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, and Demi Lovato, has been at odds with Taylor after purchasing the rights to her first six album for a whopping $330 million. Now, last year, Taylor opened up about the ongoing bullying she has received at the hands of Scooter in an open letter on her Tumblr. She started out by saying, For years I asked, pleaded for a chance to own my work. Instead, I was given an opportunity to sign back up to Big Machine Records and earn one album back at a time, one for every new one I turned in. I walked away because I knew once I signed that contract, Scott Borchetta would sell the label, thereby selling me and my future. I had to make the excruciating choice to leave behind my past, music I wrote on my bedroom floor, and videos I dreamed up and paid for from the money I earned playing in bars, then clubs, then arenas, then stadiums. And then in November, Taylor let her fans know the truth after Scooter had told her she wasn't allowed to perform her top hits medley at the American Music Awards. Additionally, Taylor also revealed that along with her performance, she was also denied the rights to use her old songs for her Netflix documentary, Miss Americana. And Selena Gomez even got involved to support her best friend, speaking out against the unfair actions against Taylor. In her Instagram story, she wrote, my heart is so heavy right now. It makes me sick and extremely angry. I don't mind if there may be retaliation. This is my opinion. It's greed, manipulation, and power. There is no heart or thought of anyone else. No respect for the words my friend has written since she was a 14-year-old in her bedroom. You've robbed and crushed one of our best songwriters of our time, an opportunity to celebrate all of her music with fans and the world. And Taylor's other gal pal, Gigi Hadid, spoke out against the music group on Twitter, writing, Scott and Scooter, you know what the right thing to do is. Taylor and her friends deserve to celebrate the music. All right, now that you're caught up, Taylor took to her Instagram stories Thursday to let her fans know about another super shady move from Scooter and his team after they announced that they will be releasing an old performance of hers. Yesterday she wrote, Hey guys, I want to thank my fans for making me aware that my former record label is putting out an album of live performances of mine tonight. This recording is from a 2008 radio show performance I did when I was 18. Big Machine has listed the date as a 2017 release, but they're actually releasing it tonight at midnight. She continued on saying, I'm always honest with you guys about this stuff, so I just wanted to tell you that this release is not approved by me. It looks to me like Scooter Braun and his financial backers, 23 Capital, Alex Soros and the Soros family and the Carlisle Group have seen the latest balance sheets and realized that paying $330 million for my music wasn't exactly a wise choice and they need money. Taylor ended her note by saying, in my opinion, just another case of shameless greed in the time of so tasteless, but very transparent. Okay, I really need to know your thoughts on Taylor's larger than life clapback. Is it classy yet sassy, or do you feel this will get her into more drama with Scooter? Speak now in the comments below. See what I did there? Anyway, fans online are of course here for Taylor's stance against the businessmen and rallied to her side on Twitter with one fan writing, she snapped so hard, reputation 2.0 is coming. This Swifty tweeted, she just said they're in need of money and they're using her to get it. Oh my God, relevant queen. And one said, have seen the latest balance sheets and realized that paying $330 million for my music wasn't exactly a wise choice and they need money. Taylor Swift standing up against men and not allowing them to manipulate and control her. Like many other celebs, Taylor has been staying out of the spotlight while she practices social distancing. During the One World Together at Home special this past weekend, Taylor had a special appearance where she performed her song that she said she would never perform live titled, Soon You'll Get Better. The song sheds light on her family's pain as they deal with her mother Andrea's battle with cancer. During a YouTube Live while promoting her album Lover, Taylor explained the meaning behind the song and why she believed she would never take the stage with it. There's a song called Soon You'll Get Better on this album that was really, really hard to write and it was also just like a family decision whether to even put it on the album. Um, and I think songs like that that are really hard for you to write emotionally, maybe they're really hard 
to write and hard to sing because they're really true. With the emotional performance, Taylor has continued to prove her heart is in the right place during these crazy times because she also helped keep a Nashville record store afloat amid their financial struggles. She also let her fans know that she will be postponing all future performances and appearances scheduled for 2020, including her Loverfest stadium tour. In a post on Twitter, she wrote, I'm so sad I won't be able to see you guys in concert this year, but I know this is the right decision. Please, please stay healthy and safe. I'll see you on stage as soon as I can, but right now what's important is committing to this for the sake of all of us. Yes, and we hope you all are staying safe. But if you need more tea on what Taylor's been up to since social distancing, click right over here to see her classy but sassy clap back at Kim Kardashian. I'm Amelia Nish Jr. and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye guys.